So we've got to simplify fully, x squared minus 8x plus 15 over 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. So um, quadratic equations, they probably both will factorise, so we'll start with x squared minus 8x plus 15. Well we need, um, what we notice here is that we have a plus at the end and a minus in the middle. That can only come from two minuses. Now we need factors of 15 that when put together give me 8. So that will come from 3 and 5. So that's the top factorised. Now with the bottom, the only way we can get 2x squared is if we have a 2x times a 2x. Sorry, an x. An x, rather. And we need um, factors again of 15. Okay, so factors of 15 that when we combine it with the 2x and the x get us minus 7x. So I'm going to write down the factors of 15 to start with. So we've got 1 and 15, 3 and 5. And uh, we've got to experiment with this really until we end up with our minus 7x in the middle. Now I'm looking at my 5 2s and 3 1s. So I think if I do my 5 times my 2x, which I'll get by having the 5 in the set different bracket from the 2x, 5 times the 2x will give me 10x. And when I take the 3x away, I'll get my minus 7x. So I need the 2x uh, times minus 5 to give me minus 10x. So if I get minus 10x, add 3x to it, I'll get that minus 7x in the middle. So 3 there and plus 3. And notice that we've got the factor x minus 5, x minus 5. It's going to help this thing simplify right down. So that, in fact, is the correct factorising. If you try it the other way around and expand, it doesn't come out right and swap them around, but this is the correct answer. And we can obviously cancel it down to x minus 3 over 2x plus 3. And it's simplified fully at that stage.